How's it going, brothers? For Arjit Tech back here with an all new video, and yes, we are on Unreal Engine series, and I'll be starting more videos on Unreal Engine. Uh, so I thought of creating this video because uh, this is the way I compiled my Unreal Engine. I was not uh, able to download whole of that, so I thought of creating using Unreal Engine using the C++ code provided by Epic Games. So first of all, all you need to do is to create an account on GitHub and same on UnrealEngine.com. And from there, you need to put your username of GitHub onto your Unreal Engine account. So that uh, you get a message like this, you've been at an Epic Games organization. Once you do that, you're going to be able to access their private respiratories, uh, respiratories on the uh, GitHub. So you need to search off to get from to the Epic Games. So I'm going to type in Epic GitHub.com, Epic Games. You need to make sure that same. I'm going to be including the link in the description. Uh, you won't be able to see it like this if you are not added on uh, onto the engine from that uh, website or without creating your account. You just need to get your username from here and simply go over there and just paste your username. At. These two private respiratories are going to be used. So instead of Unreal Tournament, we're going to go to Unreal Engine Source Code. And from here, you need to simply click on the branch, whichever you want. Instead, the release branch is the one which is generally the latest version but it's still on development so I do not think you're gonna be choosing the release version it's up to you but instead I just chose to find 4.15 and that's the latest build that is completely up and mine is 4.15.1 so once you that do that all you need to do is to simply click on clone or download so in case you're having github client installed you can just simply clone it up or if you're not having instant uh, client installed, you can you'll have downloads it. So if you're having clone insta client installed, just fork this and fork it to your own account. Once you do that, that's going to be fork up to your private uh, respiratory. So you can simply open uh, that uh, GitHub client and simply start. So that's something too, but. What I'm going to be showing you here is how you can compile that will complete without having any problems. So first of all, you need to make sure that, oh, no, sorry for this. Once you download it, you're going to be getting files like this. Don't worry for these files, they won't be here for yours. Uh, but now, uh, what you're going to be getting is to double click on set up file. Once you do that, it will start install or downloading the Unreal Engine Respiratory. It's not mentioned that you cannot close it. You can close it in between and that's going to be scanning again and uh, start the download where it left off. So that means you need not to download it the whole two, three, four GB at once. Generally, it downloads three, four GB at once. So that's why the problem is of downloading three, four GB. Uh, so it's up to you. You want to close it in between, just like torrent or something. So yeah, once you do that, you're gonna be getting complete files, and that gonna be checking once again that if you have complete files or not. And finally, double click on generate project file, so you're gonna get the Microsoft SLN file. Uh, for this, uh, you need Microsoft Editor from, get this off for a while, uh, Visual Editor, so it's gonna be Visual Studio, uh, there are a lot of any, uh, pro in Visual Studio, you can get that anywhere from now, uh, so the, even this supports Visual Studio 2015, uh, maybe it should be 2015 so that it could compile the code because without 2015 it won't work, below 2015, yeah. So I'm going to be checking 2050, I already installed it, you're going to be checking community version because it's completely free and even it's try the free, uh, all the, uh, it also works. But also you need at the time of installation, you need to make sure that Visual C++ is enabled. Once you're here, all you need to do is click on download VS Community 2017 and install it. Once you do so, uh, you're going to be opening this file which is Unreal UE4 and let that open up like Visual Studio 2015 community. So once that open up, you're gonna be seeing here on the left hand side rear corner below loading project. You need to make sure that everything gets loaded up here, every included file and everything. And once that goes done, all you need to do is to right click on UE4 in the, your solution editor. I'm gonna wait up for it here. Just just wait wait for it to load a while. So once you get here, you're gonna be seeing that it uh, on the left hand side corner checking for all of the files and a lot of things going on. So once that get done. All you need to do is to right click on UE4 and rebuild it, build it. So I'm going to be coming back when everything's done. So once that done, you're going to be seeing on the left hand corner already. So once that's it, 
you only need to do is to right click, click on UE4 and click on build and that's going to be start building to everything and that's going to be taking a time or depending upon your system specifications maybe 45 minutes or could take even hours so it's up to you and once that done all you need to do is to go on to Unreal Engine where you've left off and go to engine binaries Windows 64 and here you're gonna be seeing UE4 editor so that's gonna be it for today thanks for watching make sure you get your Unreal Engine as, ready, as soon as possible ready so it's for stick